Okay, in this problem, we're asked to do apply definition one uh, to find the Laplace transform of our function f of t equals e to the t sine of 2t. Okay, so we want to find the Laplace transform of f of t, which we know to be the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative st times our function f of t. So we see that our integral is e to the negative st times e to the t times sine of 2t dt. And we want to find what this integral is if it, and find where it converges. So if you look in the back of the book, uh, there's a table of integrals. And they give you that the integral We see that the integral of e to the at times sine of bt dt is equal to e to the at over the quantity a squared plus b squared. And that's all times the quantity a sine of bt minus b cosine bt plus some constant c. And so we see that our integral is almost in that form. We can combine the exponents of e. So we see that this is the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the t times the quantity 1 minus s times sine of 2t dt. So if we look at our two forms, we see that a is 1 minus s. And b is 2. So we can easily fill out this integral. So we see that The Laplace transform of f of t is going to be e to the one minus s quantity times t all over the quantity one minus s squared plus four. And we will, and that's all times one mi the quantity one minus s times sine of two t minus two times cosine of two t, and we want to evaluate it from t equals zero to t equals infinity. And so as t goes to infinity, we want the integral to converge. So if we look at these terms, any term that has t in it, we'll see that when e is raised to the power of infinity, it diverges. So we want e to be raised to negative infinity if possible. And we see that we have 1 minus s is times t. So we want 1 minus s to be less than 0.
or we want s to be more than 1. So if s is more than 1, then e raised to the negative infinity goes to 0. So then this entire term goes to 0. So our integral converges since everything else is defined at t equals 0. So we can evaluate that. So our Laplace transform of f of t is equal to when t goes to infinity, as long as s is more than 1, we see that the first term is 0, which multiplies this all to 0, minus evaluated at t equals 0, e to the 0 is 1, 1 minus s squared. plus 4, sine of 0 is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so we get multiplied by a negative 2. And we see that the Laplace transform simplifies to two over one minus s squared quantity squared plus 4, as long as s is more than 1. So that's our Laplace transform of f of t.